So we're into the evening now, as the date continues. And we're still at the beach, having fun. The sun slowly sank below the western horizon. Emily and I walked hand in hand across the beach. The sand dyed a brilliant orange in the evening light. Yeah, this is a beautiful scene in the evening. Well, the evening sun is always a beautiful sight. And the morning sun too, yes, of course. But I think, I don't know, I just prefer the evening sun than the morning sun, even though they are kind of like about the same. <laughs> But I feel like yeah, the evening sun looks better because it's like the sun setting down into the night. Yeah. Okay. After spending the whole day together, we had finally run out of things to say. That wasn't necessarily why we were both so quiet. Well, I mean, it's not necessarily bad to be quiet. I mean, if it's naturally quiet, it's still a good thing, you know. Yeah. Depends on the mood. It was a comfortable silence, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we didn't need a conversation topic to feel comfortable around one another. Emily paused by the edge of the water. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, sometimes silence is good. You know, sometimes silence is golden. As she watched the advancing waves wash back and forth over her bare feet, her expression grew melancholy. There's something on your mind, right? Come on, how about you say it? What's wrong? Doshita no? Nothing? Etsuni? She kicked at the waves that came in. Okay. Me too. Oh. Childish? Nah, I don't think it's childish. I think everyone will definitely feel this way. Yeah. You know, like, don't want things to end. I don't know, but it's a very Emily thing to say. <laughs> Emily thing? <laughs> well, well, even if I say you're childish, it's still a good thing. Is it? <laughs> it is. I like to think that. She looked at me with a disappointed expression. Well, the thing is, I can always see you again. I mean, well, we can always exchange contacts, you know. You've been sighing a lot lately. Is that what's been on your mind? Yeah, most li likely, yeah, that she'll miss this place and all. She nodded silently. It's not like this is really the end, though, yeah? It's the start of, it's the beginning. If we find that ring, I'm sure we can get your parents back together. Then you can stay in Japan. Oh yeah, that's that too, yeah. yeah. Right, so we have to bang everything on that ring. <laughs> we will both have to go back home at the end of summer. But even if we were apart, at least we will be in the same country. Yeah, I know. Well, that's the, like I said before, there's something called long distance relationship. But now with Skype, or rather with Discord, with with messaging, what you know, line and all that. I, I think we can definitely communicate with each other easily, not, not a problem. Oh, my grandmama did. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely agree with this line. Love is the greatest adventure of all. Everyone will experience it at some point. Grandma did too. So, well, I was actually kind of half expecting that she would confess, but I'm so so surprised she just confessed like that. <laughs> wow, Emily. She cast her eyes down as if she was afraid of what might come next. That I might reject you? No, I'm not going to reject you. I gently stroked her hair and responded. I love you too, Emily. Alright, we just confessed! Hiroka. Nice! Awesome! Emily! Oh. Well, let's see with a kiss. <laughs> what? Emily suddenly backed away from me. What? No! Emily? Come on, you just stayed in. 
your e emotions get the better of you. It means you love me. So, and I said, he said back, I love you too. So, um, if you say you love me, you say you love me, okay? Um, that's, that's no two ways about it. That we're gonna be apart and then things will fall apart. No, don't don't be pessimistic. I cause you trouble? I cause you some hazukashi stuff? Embarrassing stuff? No? Not at all. Come on now. You look sexy. <laughs> While well, well, I was trying to think of something to say, she shuffled back to me, still avoiding eye contact, and took my hand. Aww. How about a kiss? I gave her hand a reassuring squeeze, then moved to stand in front of her. Oh, wow, this, this anger. Love this anger. Hey, come on, why are we wearing a shirt? We should be... I thought we were swimming? Why are we still in... Why are we in our shirt? I thought we should be half naked. <laughs> I mean, we're on the beach, right? So why are we wearing a shirt? <laughs> Emily's not wearing a shirt, no? I brushed some of her hair aside and looked down into her eyes. The kissing. Nice. Wow. The kissing. Well, I mean, it's not shown here, but we are kissing, all right. Our first kiss, nice. And with the evening sun in the backdrop, wow. And, and the purple sky in the left side of the backdrop, the evening sun on the right side. It's a beautiful contrast. Yeah, and a beautiful CG, of course. Not forgetting Emily's sexy bikini. Perfect. Come on, we should we should also take off. When you strip down to our uh, swimsuit, then you'll be perfect. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, no, this is this is perfect in itself. Perfect CG. <laughs> I moved in close and pressed her lips to mine. It was my first kiss, but it felt so natural. I was doing it before I had any chance to worry about anything. <coughs> Emily made no attempt to push me away. Her lips are so soft and warm. Who would have thought that such a simple thing would fill me with so much happiness? The setting sun illuminated the world around us, yeah. You know, like hot and cold. Now, contrast is a beautiful contrast, like I said. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah? Emily. A little more? No, we're going all the way. <laughs> I had started to move away, but Emily closed. The distance between us again. Apart from the basic idea, I don't think either of us really knew what we were doing. We're just letting our emotions go with the flow. Yeah, that's basically what we're doing. It was a clumsy, immature kind of kiss, but it's still a kiss. When we finally parted, Emily's blue eyes were damned with tears. <laughs> There was some kiss, huh? Me? I? Me what? Because she said Anataga. Um? What? You okay, Emily? Oh, Sugoku, Suteki, lovely kiss. Well, you was my first too. Same here. <laughs> really good, really? <laughs> it's true though. Yes, I was inspired to do my best for you. It goes to show that my love for you is natural. It's genuine. Emily blushed as she bashfully looked away. Although she was too shy to look at me, she squeezed my hand reassuringly. Alright. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, looking forward to tomorrow too. Yeah, me too. 
<laughs> you want to get out like Ah this is so embarrassing I need, I need to get out of here I need right away uh, Emily <laughs> You're hot oh you're hot Hot where? In your heart? <laughs> she rushed off towards the vending area I don't think she's mad at me Of course she's not mad at us I stood there thinking about how her lips felt against mine I really don't get this. <laughs> it's fine, you'll get them soon enough. I think it was fair to say that our date was a success. Yep. Right. That was a really, really nice scene, yeah. Awesome. Ended with a kiss, so. Yeah. We now head to the next day. Oh. Oh, we are the. the what's the island? Mimijima Island. Yeah. So we are still practicing on the shipwrecking. Emily, her, her heavy equipment on her back, waded out of the shallows and onto the beach, and set her cylinder down with a sigh. I followed soon. I think I got some good shots of the interior. I held up my camera triumphantly. She'll be fine. Her neutral buoyancy is even better than mine. <laughs> oh, what do you mean by neutral buoyancy? <laughs> Nothing compared to ballet, so you're saying that ballet is harder than scuba diving? Yeah, those, yeah, those rip currents. Don't let your gut down. Oh, okay. Emily put off the top half of her wetsuit, taking off. When I first met her, I couldn't have imagined I would be seeing her in diving gear. But now I thought it suited her quite well. Yeah, I think it's a good, it's a good diving suit. I mean, blue color and all. Blue's my favorite color as well. <laughs> so yeah, we should get this film developed as soon as we can. So how about we call your name? So ne, so shimashou. All right. We all started packing for the return trip. Oh, is Emily talking to her father or her mother? Ah, so she's talking to her mother. Hmm. Yeah, interesting that she's trying to persuade Mama right now. So maybe the next line she says, is, I'm going to find the ring no matter what, okay? So if I find the ring, will you two make up? <laughs> Something like that. Oh, yeah, Mama, you better believe Emily, okay? Don't, don't be, don't, don't, you know? Yeah. It's not over yet, okay? Believe in hope. Oh, see now? Yeah, Emily, trying to really persuade mom. I'll find the ring no matter- We'll find the ring for you, Emily, no matter what. Emily had borrowed Chisa's smartphone to talk to her mother. In I hope her mother didn't like just hang up right there, because if she, if she did, we're going to prove her wrong. Her own phone was out of commission since she tossed it into the ocean on the ferry coming over here. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that, that scene. <laughs> Yeah, the scene right here where she just tossed the potion <laughs> into the water. Incidentally, MD had recently expressed regret in doing that. Hey, why did you do that? It's like, oh, throwing it away. Okay, I'll be... I don't want to have any more contact with you anymore. But it wasn't because life was less convenient without her phone. She would say, I can't believe I was so quick to pollute the beautiful ocean. <laughs> yeah, it's littering. She was really hard on her past self. Chisa and I didn't want to intrude, so we sat at the table and focused on the photos we had just developed. Well, you still gotta do what you, what you gotta do, Emily. Find the ring, and then let Papa handle the rest. Yeah, because he's the one who bought the ring, right? So, yeah. 
at least at least Mama didn't hang up. Emily hung up, looking dejected. Nakata. Okay, at least her mom tell, told her where the ring might be. Shita found a photo of the desk in one of the old pamphlets used when the ghost ship was still a commercial yacht. Why do, why do they call it a yacht though? But, I mean, I mean, from what I know of the word yak, yak is like the one that you sail in the in you know Olympic competitions. That sort of yak with a sail, with just one sail. Do you actually call a ship a yak? Your yak? Hmm. Maybe I I I I only know yak as you know, the the kind of the the, the ship with just a sail. Yeah. Did your mom say anything else? Because that is clearly a ship. It's not a yak. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah, don't, don't listen to your mom. She's, she's being dumb. Alright, so she went to Japan to take care of her mother. to decide what you need to do, okay? Don't, you don't have to listen to her. Get the ring, better get the ring, and ask your dad to know, repropose to her again and then hopefully things will work out from there. So yes, that's right, don't let her. Yeah, they came out great. So it looks like it's the mom who is like wanting to divorce her dad uh divorce the dad rather than the other way around. Yeah, like the mom clearly like doesn't like like yeah have some they quarrel <laughs> You no, know, the, the Emily's parents quarrel with each other, but it's the it's the mom who started everything. So it's like a mom is really insistent on divorcing, you know, Emily's dad. So during today's trip, we managed to capture some details of the ship's interior through the hole in the hull. Yeah, this scene is familiar, right? I mean, we saw it last time in Chisa's room, except. We only saw it for the first time when we dived right down here. But in Emily's room, we actually get to see the photo of it first. I'm pretty sure we'll have enough space in this area. But past it, things might get tricky. This was our plan so far. Since we could only dive for a limited amount of time, processing all the details around us under pressure wasn't easy. That was where the camera came in. We photographed everything we could. And revealed the picture so you have a better idea for the next time. So it's like in Emily's route, we actually took pictures of the photo here and there before we actually dived in. But in Chisa's route, we just simply dived in. <laughs> right? Or maybe we did something along the way, but I, I wasn't sure. By using the camera on these little uh, rare connoisseur strips, we hoped to slowly work our way to the depths of the shipwreck. It wasn't much of a plan, but there was no harm in being cautious. Plus, it provided opportunities for me and Emily to improve our diving skills. So we're going in tomorrow, alright. I hope we can make it as far as the cabin your parents were in. But I mean, we did it with Chisa, so we can definitely do it with you, Emily. Oh, Chisa, you wanted to join in? <laughs> Chisa had been focused on her smartphone since Emily had handed it back, but suddenly her face lost all color. What was terrible? Oh, I don't think it's that. I mean, yeah, use the line app, it's definitely it's phone bills should, should be fine because <laughs> you know, it's internet. Yeah, internet doesn't cost as much as, um, yeah, as you know, normal phone bills. So why is it? She showed us her screen. What? What? <laughs> typhoon? At this time, we didn't have a typhoon in Shisa's route. What crap timing? Yes, we have to call off the salvage until it passes. But how long is that going to be? Damn, damn. A what? What's the big deal? Typhoons blow over Ogasawara all the time. 
unless you tell me telling me this is going to be a major typhoon that's going to come to our land <laughs> come to the land Jisa leaned forward on the table, her hands clenched in frustration. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I know. Because maybe, maybe this typhoon might actually sweep the ghost ship away. I mean, it was the previous typhoon that brought the ghost ship here, right? Yeah, yeah, right, right at uh, the Mimijima Islands, yeah, at where the, the hideout of Chisa and Hiroki. But now that another typhoon's coming, it means it's going to sweep the ghost ship away. Shit! Then we won't be able to get to it. Yeah. So shit. <gasps> what? Oh, oh! I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, I, I. It also just occurred to me. When will the typhoon hit? So we have to do it before then. Mikago. Mikago, okay, three days from now. Yeah, you won't be able to find it anymore. We could end up losing the ghost ship. We have to do it before then, even if it's risky. The next morning. Our plan had been to give Emily time to get better at diving, and to explore for as long as our limited time will allow, but we don't have time now. But the incoming typhoon meant we would have to kick things up a notch. Yeah, so we are going on a final mission to we'll go into the ship and get the ring before the typhoon strikes. Yo had helped us pack our scuba, di uh, scuba gear into his outrigger. Yep, we are finally taking it on. Yeah, sooner than I hoped, but the typhoon forced our hand. Yeah, don't worry. I know. Don't worry, it's not scary, Emily, okay? With me by your side, nothing scary. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you definitely have a lot of experience now. Well, yeah, Emily's a fast learner. Emily looked off into the distance. You felt like you were... Felt like you were finally at home? <laughs> blessing of the Sea, yeah. There was someone who commented about this thing called Blessing of the Sea. Uh, yeah, her name Emily in Japanese or even in Chinese, it there's a character in M the, the name Emily uh, that means sea. So that's probably where the name uh, yeah the blessing of the sea comes from. Yeah, it's from the name Emily. It's, it's interesting to know. Yeah. Swish swish. The waves crashed gently against the sand. Don't worry, Chisa. Two sides of the same coin, I guess. Don't worry, Chinami. You, 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 you can join us next time, I mean when you're older. Chinami had been standing at real side, watching us get ready. Yeah, you and me you can come with us, come along with us to check, see things. Yeah, check, check us out. <laughs> what are you talking? <laughs> you're gonna desiccate a bit of salt? <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not a vampire or what? <laughs> <laughs> Dive into the world wide web, oh my god. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take care of Chisa, yeah? And thanks for the... Thanks for the warning, thanks for... You know... Yeah, your concerns. 
そろそろお姉ちゃんって呼ばないとげんこつくらわすよ<笑><笑>ボー力で誰かを支配できると思っているところが愚かなのだ I agree I agree with this to some extent, yes, i s the final refuge of the incompetent. Maji de nagri tak na tikita ka. Do we have everything we need? We checked through our equipment one last time. Daijobi yo? Okay. Alright. Alright then, it's time to head out. Shupatsu! Itte kimas! Itte kimas! Itte kimas! Kiyo tske te na! Oh, so it's just the three of us going on our own? Okay, real t us not coming with us. <laughs> A share of the treasure. We're not gonna collect treasure, we're just gonna get the ring. <laughs> we're not, we can't share the ring with you. Alright, off we go. The ultimate showdown with the ghost ship. We took the canoe to Minamijima, right? That's why it's Minamijima, not Mimijima. I'm missing the na. <laughs> then got ready for our dive. Put on all our gear, then did the body check. Yeah, yes. Wait, yes. We were used to this routine by now. Oh, Finn, you want to join us? Finn watched us from the water, eager for someone to jump in and play with him. Yeah, don't worry. I, if anything bad happens, I know you'll be here to save us. We'll call you for help. Don't worry. We decided to have Shisa wait in the canoe directly above us in case of an emergency. Yeah. If we stick to the plan, everything should be fine. Before going in, we went over the plan one last time. Right, so we are going through the hole in the hull. If we turn right, we l l be in the corridor. So head for the third door on the right. That door will be our first real obstacle. If it opens, fine. If not, we have, we'll just have to force it open. We could dive pretty well, but picking a lock or taking down a door was beyond our skill set. If that door didn't open, the whole plan would be over before you have begun. Yeah, it should have rusted, but. We are not taking any chances. Okay. Seeing as today wouldn't be our last chance, any photos we took today will give us a chance to study the room if we didn't find the ring. So we have another chance, like. So it's gonna be. So the typhoon will happen in a few days' time, okay? Then Emily enters the cabin and opens the right drawer on the desk her mom described. But you know, if we can get the ring here, right this instant, it'll be great. So we don't have to like, you know, be anxious and then wait for the next day or what. It should be. Yeah. yeah, I mean, in Chisa's route, I was worried for a sec that, you know, the ring is going to be. What if it's like, you know, stuck somewhere and not like clearly visible in the room? Yeah. But this time, now that we know what the. what it's going to be, it's, the ring is not, it's not going to be on its own, it's going to be inside the box. So it should be quite obvious where it is, but then again, you never know. It might be like. Swept across, you know, swept to a corner of the room. Okay. But we're going to find it. No matter what pan, uh, what happens, we won't panic. That will only make things worse. Emily and I nodded to one another. Yeah, safety first, alright? I'm Zen Daichi. Alright. Cylinders and regulators. Emily repeated the procedures and warnings to herself as diving in confined spaces required a lot more caution than usual. We wanted to avoid getting caught on anything at all costs. Those kinds of accidents could easily lead to panic and disorientation. Yes, we should get going. Let's go! Final dive! 
uh, uh, not the final dive, but it's the final showdown to get the ring. And I love this background music. Yeah, it's time for an adventure. Emily nodded. The atmosphere more tense than usual. We turned to face each other, hands on each other's shoulders, and made our way into the water. Just relax. Okay, breathe in. Breathe out. Even if you are at the bottom of the ocean, you won't be alone. Aibo, yes, I'm counting on you too. <laughs> yeah. You said so, Finn. You said it, Finn. Finn sent us off with an encouraging squeak. Of course, thanks for the support. I was glad we had the two of, two of them on our side. The waterline was already above our waist. We let go of one another and put on our fins. Then it was time to dive. Here we go. It was a typical Ogasawa run summer day. The sun was out with no sign of any clouds. Visibility would be good today. Emily and I made eye contact. We couldn't ask for better weather, yeah. Alright. The ghost ship was clearly visible, lying slightly tilted on the sea floor. The dark shadow among all the colorful fish and coral that looked like some gigantic monster nursing a fatal injury. <laughs> really? Oh yeah, I mean, you mean this, you mean this ship? Okay, the, the dark shadow. Uh, hard to believe, but it's, it's been quite a lot of practice, so we're, so we're going to put it, you know, put our practice to the test. We're going to put our practice to good use here. We were swimming right into the belly of that shadowy beast. The danger before us was palpable. I squeezed Emily's hand. I'm here with you. We are buddies, okay? I go. <laughs> Our hand signals expressed something along those lines as we slowly sank deeper and deeper. Emily stopped for a moment and pinched her nose through her mask. She was used to equalizing pressure at this point. Though the rate of equalization varied from person to person, in her case, she had to do it fairly often. Yeah, as if she's not used to the water yet, right? <laughs> Thanks for the support, Finn! Thank you! Finn was doing laps around Emily to show off how much better he was at swimming. <laughs> Hey, don't, don't say that, Emily! <laughs> Just, he's cheering you on! <laughs> she did her best to ignore the dolphin's taunts. You okay now? Alright. We continued our descent. <coughs> As we approached the sea floor, the blue ocean deepened all around us. The further we got from the sun, the less welcoming our surroundings appeared like some underwater visited by roaming spirits. No fish around today. Maybe it's because they are sensing that the typhoon is coming. Was the approaching typhoon ahead? Or rather, the approaching typhoon already having an effect on the area? Yeah. It was so quiet around the ghost ship that I almost believed that it was haunted. Yeah, true. I mean, just now you said something about uh, that was haunted, right? Well, that's why it's called the ghost ship. <laughs> Emily looked optimistic. I nodded. Before I knew it, I, we had reached the sea floor. <laughs> Give me some light. Emily shined her dive light at my hands while I checked over the camera. This brand was well known for its underwater usability, in of course. I think this probably is a copyrighted name for Nikon? Or, or is it something else? <laughs> it was sturdy enough to function in deep water without leaking, but it was also really easy to use. Or maybe Olympiakos. No, not Olympiakos, no, no, no. Or maybe Olympus. Yeah, Olympus. <laughs> Even with gloves on, I could reach buttons easily without losing my grip. I adjusted the focus of the camera. Setting the focus for 1.5 meters. 
The lack of light underwater played tricks with our eyes. But this distance has been the most reliable so far. Yeah, I mean, because if you're trying to take photos underwater, that's the water reflection you need to take into account. So, yeah. So there's that illusion, that optical uh, deception. E? Yeah, I'm fine. Cheer us on, okay? Continue cheering us on, Finn. Don't, don't sound so sad. Leaving a worried Finn behind. We carefully made our way through the gaping hole in the side of the ghost ship. If anything happens, call Chisa, right? We're going in. Yeah, really dark. We need to turn on our lights. Switch on your switch on your light. And this dive light cut through the darkness. All around us, tiny fish darted in and out of the soft chorus covering the walls. Tentacles swinging in the water like arms reaching out. Maybe it was just my nerves, but I was starting to think that we really had invaded the body of a living creature. <laughs> Right. The interior of the ship was covered in the corroded remains of the ship, the decayed corpses of other creatures, and sand. The slightest movement would send it spiraling all around the room. We took our time as we moved through the ship's interior, using our fins as little as possible. Controlling buoyancy was really important when wrecking. Shipwrecks disrupted normal currents, causing irregular currents to form. That explains the rip currents around it. We had to take care not to break form in these currents. Also, as a result, it was a lot more difficult to maintain proper balance if you propelled yourself forward with your feet. If we did kick up some dust, Chisa's previous warning came to mind. Yeah, because she said don't kick up too much dust otherwise we can't see. In a small space like this, the dust would create a thick, impenetrable cloud that would take time to settle. If that did happen, we would be stuck waiting for everything to calm down. With the both of us paying the, the utmost attention to our surroundings, we moved further into the ship. We found ourselves in the hallway lined with cabin doors. Well, that, that's a good thing. We don't want any sharks or what. <laughs> Emily shined her light down the hall. The way the light bounced down the hall, it felt like something nasty was lurking in the shadows. But that was just me being ridiculous. Look, there's an air pocket above us. Oh, that could be our getaway in case something happens here. We could get out from it there. There was a dent in the ceiling where some air had collected. If you were to get trapped with no air down here, you'll be attempting inside. But it was likely that air wasn't safe to breathe. Oh yeah, definitely not. It could be poisonous. That uncirculated air had been in this ship for 16 years. So breathing it could get us sick, or at the very worst, kill us. Here we are, door number 3. That's the door. Okay, in front of it, door number 3, eh? Sango uh, Shiki or Sandoshi. Uh, Sangoshi. They finally arrived at our destination. In spite of the time spent at the bottom of the sea, the door still looked pretty sturdy. I'll open it. Should be safe, but stay back just in case. Wakata. Emily backed away to watch from a safe distance. Before grabbing the handle, I checked for any harmful creatures that might have attached themselves to the door. Where in before there's a creature behind the door, I didn't want a handful of poison needles or something equally unappealing. Here we go, let's open it. I gave the door handle a strong tuck, but it didn't even budge. Come on! Maybe there were some smaller organisms jammed into the hinges that were keeping the door from opening. Or maybe it could be the rust too. Oh uh, yeah? Tried pulling on it again harder this time. Crap! Ah! Did it open? Shit! <laughs> it didn't open, it came right. It came off right at the hinges. Oh, so that means it, the door did open. <laughs> Moved quickly to keep the door from falling. Yeah, I mean it didn't like open, but 
I think it's more like the door came off, right? <laughs> I, I'm fine, Daijobu. Breathe a sigh of relief as I set the door to one side. But we still had to wait for all of the dirt and sand to settle before we could move on. Yeah, all the dust after we put the door, pried, pried the door open. Alright. That's the room. That's the, the fated room. <laughs> it should be okay to move on now. Okay. Okay, sure. You just light the way. As Emily lit the room, I moved in to start taking pictures. It's really dark inside. There's the phone. There's the teapot and light. Right? Looks like there isn't a lot of damage. The cabin was in better condition than I had, than I had expected, just with some rust in there, some chorus. I guess 16 years isn't all that long for a shipwreck. The door being kept closed all this time probably helped too. Right, where's the ring? I took several more shots of the interior of the room. I'm just surprised at how normal y'all looks. There was no denying this place was a mess. But under all the decay and water damage, the cabin retained a well a weird lifting look. As if someone was still using it. Yeah, it still looks like a robe in itself, no? Like it's still perfect. I wasn't creeped out or anything. It was a calming space. As if a small part of the previous residence had just stayed behind. Well in before we say it's a Spirits had lived here. <laughs> no, but I don't think there were any victims on this ship, right? Yeah, there weren't. Look, there's magazines and everything. There's even magazines still here. They had fallen to the floor, but then again, so had almost everything else. Some parts had been torn away, but where the pages were intact, the colors still looked fresh. Even the text was readable. Really? <laughs> they hadn't decayed yet? Well, I'm sure he did. Probably. In a way, this shipwreck was like a giant time capsule. Deserving life as it was 16 years ago. I'm done. You can go ahead. And let Emily have the room. Both of us couldn't fit inside at once. I moved to the corridor to light her way as she explored the room. Well, go find your ring, girl. Don't rush. Don't touch anything until you're sure it's safe. Okay. Moving her fins as little as possible, she swam into the cabin. Yeah, that's the desk. And it's, uh, it's said to be in the drawer, right? There was a desk in the corner. Just as our research had suggested, the drawer was there too. Okay, Emily switched on her dive light, then reached out for the drawer. Alright. With a little encouragement, it came away easy enough. Well, we're looking for it. Is it there? Is the ring there? Nice. There we go. Just, yes. yeah, the box of ring. <laughs> it's right there in the drawer, still in good condition. She held up a tiny box. Better look inside. Yeah, even before there's no ring inside. Hopefully the box wouldn't fall apart in her hands. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, I mean, in Chisa's route... Well, the, in Chisa's route, they didn't say anything... Did they say anything about a drawer? I can't quite remember. It, we just knew that uh, the, the ring was at the desk. Yeah, but I think... But it was the same scene where I think Chisa was it Hiroki opened the drawer and then the ring is inside. Yeah. Okay, but anyway. The ring is here, yes, it's safe. A small glimmer of light to be seen in the middle of the box. Probably reflected from a gemstone in the ring or something. Alright! Delvich successful Ring Ghetto <laughs> I didn't think it would go this smoothly. And while I was immediately filled with relief, I was a little disappointed. Hey, it's better to be safe than sorry, okay? I mean, it doesn't seem like an adventure, but hey, we got the ring, so we're safe, you know? Yeah, we don't want to like suddenly, oh no, get into trouble. Oh no, no. 
I, I have a feeling something is going to happen now, right about now. However, along with being very careful, we ended up falling behind schedule. Emily, we need to head back. Yeah, let's go back. Alright. What happened? Emily? What happened to your eyes? What? You okay? I thought she would be over the moon and finally in the rain. Her face looked frozen, stiff. Emily, what's the matter? You okay? Why your eyes suddenly become like that? Are you having breathing difficulties? Emily was standing at the top of the desk. She was rooted to the spot, her gaze never wavering from that one fixed point. All of a sudden, she started to sink. Pretty soon, her fins had touched the floor. Hey, Emily, what are you doing? You're starting to sink! Hey, don't, don't scare me right there, your eyes! As Emily tried to right herself, the fin touching the floor kicked up a cloud of debris. Shit, visibility inside the cabin took a nosedive. Oh no! Oh no, Emily! Shit! Oh no! Emily started panicking. Emily! Emily, come down! I grabbed her arms and tried to keep her from trashing around. But there was muddy water swirling around us, shit. So now we get a different kind of danger. I mean, in Jesus' route, the ship started to shake, right? Here, the mist started to kick around with mist and dust. I grabbed Emily and put her towards the door. Emily, come on, get a hold of yourself! Relax! Okay, calm down, don't scare me! Face had gone pale and she was shaking like a leaf. Damn! We need to get out of here! Back to Emily back to the hole, in the hull. It was a miracle neither of us snacked our cylinders or regulators. Even the state of panic will be in the hole, thank goodness. But the danger is not over yet until we actually get out of here. I don't remember a lot of details, but somehow we made it back outside. The deep waters actually looked bright compared to the interior of the ghost ship. Emily, just stay with me, okay? Okay, stay with me. Come down. She was barely conscious, her breathing ragged and irregular. Bean, we need your help. Bean, am I glad to see you? Help me with Emily. Alright, M Finn to the rescue! Q Taro! No, not yet, Emily's in trouble. Chisa, we need your expertise. Chisa! I don't know. Emily just started acting strange. I know, but it's an emergency. Never mind about me. We need to help Emily. She started caught the hospital. Oh, okay. While she was doing that, I dived under again and with Finn's help, we got Emily safely to the surface and to the canoe. Okay. At least we got her onto the surface, but now it seems like something's wrong with her. Yeah, we, you saw those, those eyes, right? Something's wrong with her. Shit. Oh, okay. This was okay. Thank goodness. <laughs> this was better than I thought. I, I mean, the danger in Chisa's route was even worse than the danger in Emily's route. It was more epic. Yeah, this one. At least it was. It was not so bad. Yeah. No. But well, we still got a shock right there. I mean, like Emily was like almost lost consciousness right there. <laughs> but thank. Fully, she regained her senses. Oof. That was thank, go thank goodness. Sorry for all the trouble. Jotto, so you Mizuksa Yikota Yamete yo. Otasimo, team no member the show. Yeah, uh, I'm really sorry, yeah. Yeah. We were on our way back from the hospital. We all had been waiting on Omra Beach to drive us there. The doctor said that Emily's collapse wasn't caused by any kind of natural poison or by inhaling any harmful gas, thank goodness. Instead, she had seen something that caused her a lot of stress and fallen into a state of shock. So she saw something that caused her a lot of stress 
Why exactly is it? Hmm. So what else is it? Is it that's so shocking? Yeah, because I mean, in Chisa's route, we definitely didn't see anything shocking. I mean, of course, because Chisa didn't know the circumstances. But what did Emily see that made her so shocked? Throughout the examination, she didn't say a word. It was like she didn't really understand what was going on. On the right side, neither of us had any symptoms of decompression sickness. No, what now? I was discharged, but, this, but they decided to keep Emily overnight, hoping she, had, she would show signs of recovering from her lethargic state. Uh, something must have distressed her. I need to ask her what's going on. Does it have something to do with their marriage? Is it really like beyond saving? Hope not. I hope the ring can really, you know, help them make up. It's me. She looked so happy when she found the ring. But right after that, she had obviously found something else too. It's safe with me. Well, or is it with her? Emily hadn't let go of the ring box, okay, so it's still with her at least. But when I got the chance to look inside again, it was empty. What? It was empty? What? What? Did she like drop it or something? Shit. So, do we have to like dive back in again just to find the ring? Man, I didn't expect this this turn of events. I mean, in Chisa's route, we found the rings perfectly, we found the ring safely. But Emily's route, we actually dropped the ring. Man, what? Chisa looked out towards the ocean. Wait, did we like drop it while we were swimming back up? If we had dropped it inside the room, at least we still can find it, but if we actually dropped it, Outside the ship, oh no. What now then? Man, shit. Yeah, I know we made it back safely, but still... Yeah. I'll definitely do that, but now that... With the ring gone, you know... It would be hard, really hard to cheer her up. We also need to ask her what she actually saw that made her like distressed. And all that made her eyes suddenly go in shock. Good idea. Thanks, Chisa. Oh. <laughs> Gonna ground you forever. Chisa waved and left to face certain doom. There had been no serious accident, but it still looked bad for the diving shot. So it actually affects the things there. I'm gonna get it from grandma too. Grandma's gonna scold us too. So her dad's gonna scold her. Grandma's gonna scold, up, scold me too. Yes, she kept the shop closed. Of course she did. With all three st staff members out and her legs in bad shape, there was no way she'll be able to open. She'll probably be furious, but I hope she can be understanding at least here. Probably she also knows that Emily's in hospital. You know? I prepared myself for the worst and went inside. Maybe instead of her being furious, she'll be actually really sad, depressed. Padaima. Yo, you call me a numbskull. <laughs> I'm your only grandson, you know. Well, Grandma, I'm sorry. Huh? You have heard about what happened, right? Okay. But you're really close to Emily, so I thought you'd be furious at me for putting her in danger. Really? <laughs> I thought you'd be the sort of person to scold me. That's not what I mean. So to be honest, it might have eased my conscience a little if she had gotten mad at me. I knew I, knew I deserved it. One piece of advice. Chukoku. Advice. Thanks for that advice. I mean, 
Yes, this is definitely true. So, are we going to face another obstacle soon? Demo ne, bokeen shite ii no wa, kikeen o nori koeru yuki to kakugo motsu mono dake. Ah, I see what you mean now, yeah. So we have to overcome those dangers, and that, and the real adventure only begins from there. それがないやつがやるのは冒険じゃない。ただはしゃいでるだけの大遊びさ。So, so you're basically saying that we have to take risks. Because life is an adventure, we have to take risks. Wise words from Machiko. Yeah, learn something new. That another one of Rampas sings. Ah, so that. Sai kou ni ika shita otoko no kotoba da. Mune ni kizan de okun da ne. That's why. Kusogaki. Oh, come on now, don't call me a kusogaki. <laughs> why you call me a kusogaki? In case you don't know, kusogaki means you brat, you damn brat. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's why you fell in love with grandpa, right? You're probably right. Wait, something from you? Yes, like physically something? Alright, I see. Some other advice, okay? Risks you take on your adventures aren't always obvious right away. Yeah, that's true. What do you mean? Yeah, it's not always apparent. But, I mean, we definitely saw some. Like like Emily, she saw something, then she's shocked and all that. So that's no, that's the invisible danger right there. We need to ask about it. We have to. I probably wouldn't get anything else out of her. Yeah, it's something we have to find out ourselves. All right. Grandma went back into the house. Risks that aren't obvious. It sounded pretty profound. But it would take me a while to work out what Grandma had really been trying to tell me. We'll figure it out. But well, me, I might kind of get what she's saying, yeah. But how to do it? That's another thing. 